it was cloudy. The temperature was 41 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius, the dew point 38 and the relative humidity 89%. The wind was south at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.31 inches and falling. Repeating at Rochester, it was cloudy. T Weather Service Office in Buffalo, New York. The preceding signal was a test of the weather radio warning system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazards. Tests of the signal and the receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service at about 11 a.m. each Wednesday. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of the broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. To provide the most consistent and dependable warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties. KEB 98 Buffalo and WWG 32 Little Valley, the counties of Allegheny, Cattaraga, Chautauqua, Erie, Genesee, Niagara, Orleans, and Wyoming. KHA 53 Rochester, the counties of Cayuga, Genesee, Livingston, Monroe, Ontario, Orleans, Seneca, Wayne, Wyoming, and Yates. WNG 539 Spencer Fort, Monroe County. WXN 68 Watertown, the counties of Jefferson, Lewis, Oswego, and St. Lawrence. WZ2536 Lions, the counties of Wayne, Cayuga, Monroe, Ontario, and Seneca. WNG541 Jamestown, Chautauqua County. We now return to regular programming. Around the region at 11 a.m. at Erie, rain was falling with a temperature of 43. At Niagara Falls, fog was reported with a temperature of 39. It was cloudy, with a temperature of 38 at Buffalo, 38 at Syracuse, 39 at Elmira, 35 at Binghamton, and 27 at Watertown. At Oswego winds were south at 8 knots, with a temperature of 37 degrees. Periods of rain, drizzle, and fog will continue through tonight as warm and moist air continues to stream into the region. A wintry mix east of Lake Ontario this morning will mostly change to rain this afternoon, although freezing 